Check, 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 audio, check. Ta-da! Earlier today was the fundraising competition of the Intuit Coffee. Um, it was held in Snooze Bar Cafe in and Domingo, Quezon City. Um, so it's kind of near where I live. Anyway, this competition was actually organized to raise funds for the Philippine delegates for the ASEAN Coffee Brewers League. So more on that on other episodes. What we have here is a coffee from Intuit Coffee. They actually gave me one. How, how do I say? Um, I think I need to show you I think I need to show you what what they used for the packaging of the coffee for me to be able to describe it for you. I think, all right, I'll, I'll just say it. They gave me a bulb of coffee. <laughs> so it's not a bag. It's not a jar. It's not a can. Definitely not a plastic of coffee. It's a bulb. Yeah, like a literal bulb. No, not literal bulb, but it looks like a real bulb. Here. <laughs> Even the cover here, it looks like a bulb. It even has the insulator over here. Right, so you open it like this and there's another seal. It's like a bottle, but it looks like a it looks like a light bulb. And why did they choose this design? Um, I think I need to explain their logo further. Hey, if you look here, if you look closely, here is their logo. This part is the screw on for the bulb. And then this part is half the bulb, which also represents a coffee cup. And this, obviously, is a coffee bean. It kind of is a light bulb of idea in relation to coffee. Ah, galing, di ba? Okay, so we, what we have here is the Josephine Libres PCQC 2024 fifth placer. This is a natural processed coffee. The variety is Tipica and it is roasted for filter coffee. They say that the flavor notes are cinnamon, blackberries, and macadamia. Sadly, I did not go through the first round, but I will be doing and showing you my exact recipe that I did earlier today, which I got blackberries and hints of cinnamon. I'll get all the things that I need. Oh, and if you're not convinced yet that this looks like a light bulb, here is an actual light bulb. <laughs> the recipe that I used earlier today, I employed the ZP6 grinder. It's an Easy Presso ZP6. And then my dose was 15 grams. You can actually order this coffee from them if you I know I know some of you are thinking oh I just want the packaging yeah but Intuit coffee um, have some really nice coffees as well so you might want to explore those because I think they mostly have PCQC um, lots this year this season so yeah you might want to explore those coffees because they're really good 15 grams and then I did 3.5 for the 12 grams and then for the remaining um, remaining 3 grams we're gonna do 3 the brewer that I use I'm really fascinated with this brewer lately this is the Hario Flow Try Up Dripper okay so if you actually have this coffee with you right now you can actually follow my recipe so that, yeah, it's like, 
It's like tasting what I did for the competition. So for the first part of the um, brew, I did a bloom of only 30 ml. Oh, by the way, the water temperature is 89. All right, we're gonna start the timer. And we're gonna pour very gently and make sure all the coffee grounds is wet. Shake the bed to make sure that um, every coffee is wet. There. Mm, you can immediately smell the blueberries from that coffee. Um, it was actually harder for me to extract the cinnamon. But the blueberries, oh wow, that's really amazing. Next, at 45 seconds, we're gonna pour in my flower pattern. Around, making sure that we are extracting all of the coffee grounds. Yeah, you don't, also you don't need to pour very slow in this part. And then pour up to just 100 ml. Now, at 1 minute and 30 seconds, we're gonna pour around first, and then pour in the middle. So before you concentrate your pour in the middle, make sure that all the coffee grounds are wet, so that you avoid moving the coffee grounds. Right, pour up to 170 ml. I think I need to record this part when I'm pouring in the middle. Now, at 2 minutes and 30 seconds, we're gonna replicate that. So, pour around first, and then pour in the middle. If you look closely, you will see that the coffee grounds are actually not moving. Then at this part, you pour up to 210 ml. I think we're done. The ratio that I used was actually close to 1 is to 14. So for 15 grams of coffee, we pour 210 ml of water. Alright, so we're gonna give it a try. I'm still happy with how I brewed it. Mm, yeah, it's really good. I'm getting like strong flavors of blueberries and I'm actually getting nuts. Is there? Oh, there is macadamia. Yes, there is nuts, but I still have, I'm still not getting the cinnamon part, right? Um, so that is the recipe that I used earlier today for the Intuit competition. Um, I want to thank Aleya and Miss Elaine for giving me this coffee and more importantly I'm really I'm really happy with the with the packaging of their coffee. Um, again, let us all support the Philippine team, the Philippine delegation to the upcoming ASEAN Coffee Brewer League. They're about to travel tomorrow, October 1, and yeah. Wish them all good luck. This is our first representation in the ASEAN Coffee Brewer League. And of course, I hope they'll enjoy. And yeah, and I hope they have the time of their life. So to the Philippine team, good luck to you guys. And yeah, enjoy. Enjoy the party. It's gonna be it's gonna be a bang. Right? So for now. Thank you so much for watching. In the next videos, I'm gonna show you more about coffee. Good luck!
So, I'm gonna try. Lakas ng, lakas ng blackberry. Ah, ng blueberries. 